live in his call. Because, see, I could be going through something. I'm, I'm going to talk about me. I'm, I'm going to talk about me. I'm not going to talk about I don't want to hurt nobody. feels I love you all. Love, love, smile. If I didn't hug you when you came and I hug you when you go out. But I still have to be Evangelist Marlowe, regardless of how I feel. No matter, in spite of what I, how I feel, I may have me a headache and may be going through, maybe arguing with the husband or what have you. In spite of all that, yes. if my phone rings, oh, okay, so. I answer it. I don't look at it and slide it. And I, ain't gonna, I, ain't, I ain't gonna answer that right now. In spite of anything, I still walk in my calling. Amen. Makes you the same. Amen. Paul knew that his calling was from God. Be sure who you're calling from. If you're not sure, pray on it some more. Because God is not going to tell Apostle Bruce or Pastor Jones what your calling is. He's going to tell you. And it's up to you to tell them. And then they're going to just assist you and urge you to do it. That's good. Paul knew that his calling was from God. It was not according to works, but according to his own purpose and grace. It's a goal according to God's purpose for you and his grace. Yes. Not according to what you do. Yes, I was up here every Tuesday at the food bank. You know, I did it. I didn't care who saw me. Even back when we had a snowstorm, I was out here at the food bank. Not for me, because I was actually cold that day. I was here for his, for his purpose Amen. and his works. Amen. For his grace. Yes. Because he's helped going on out there. There are some people that are still out there hungry, and it's cold. Amen. So I came out. Amen. His chains. Everybody has their own things they deal with. Their own little. My my. Oh yeah, mine's my attitude. I have an anger problem. If God's dealing with it, now, so many of you may say, I ain't never seen her back. That's because He's dealing with me. But I, it's still there. It's not all the way going, but he's working on it. That's my thing, my, my chain. Because when I get angry, oh my God. I lose self-control. I, I tend to find difficulty controlling myself in spite of who I am. Paul is presently in chains. He is in bonds because of his calling and his obedience to preach the gospel. Oh, have mercy when you say yes. You think it's gonna be all roses and tulips and uh -uh. smelling all lovely? Sometimes you down in the trenches smelling like garbage, but you're still covered by the blood. Your God is blessing you, even when, in spite of what you're in, it's not always pretty going through your adversity. But you're learning something. If, if, every, if you're not going through something. You may be stagnated. Because if you're not, every time you go through something, every test, every trial, it's a, it's a step for elevation. It, 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 you're going to come up. You may not come up right then, but you're going to come up. It may not even be for you. Because some of the trials, you may not even your trial. You're just that person. God trusted you enough. To put you right there for somebody that's not as far as you. He placed you in that spot right there for them. But if you're not in position, you're messing, it's going to be against you because you're messing it up for them too. Because you're not where you're supposed to be. Like when you're running a right, like you say with the baton, you know how you're running and the next person got the hand back. If you're not there, put your hand back. Ready to. And give them a message to give them encouragement to tell them it's going to be all right. I've been through that. No, it's not going to be easy, but you're going to make it. If you're not that person right there, uh -oh. you know. Oh. Yes, there it is. In spite of his present condition, he would not be discouraged nor detoured from what God has ordained and trusted him to do. Remember, I was just talking about trust. Because when God trusts you, you know, you, you, you feel some way when Pastor Jones trusts you, Apostle trusts you. Ooh, they done gave me an assignment. I'm so happy. But God put it on their heart yes. to give it to you. Yes. 
So you should feel even more. Hey, let me put my all into this. Let me do what I need to do. Let me, in spite of what I'm going through, stand my ground and do what I need to do. Walk in my calling. You're going to have challenges ahead. Tough decisions. You, you, okay, now, there are some things you know I had a conversation with somebody. She said, I know he ain't right for me, but you know. So when you know, that, this decision ain't that tough, but when you know, that's when God said, hey, uh -uh, that ain't for you. But anyways, you going on behind little Johnny, you got tough decisions to make. There's change ahead. For some reason, change always messes with people. I'm not quite sure why, you know, but sometimes change is a good thing. Change is elevation. Change is blessing. Change is a new beginning. And how many people tired of what you had anyway and need a new beginning? Want to start over, start something new. Well, I just did three months ago, so hey, you know, that's just me. I love my change. I asked God for strength that I might achieve. I was made weak that I might learn to humbly obey. I asked for help that I might do great things. I was given infirmity that I might do better things. Because see, you could be healthy, but once you went through something, you're different. It's different when you go through it. Yeah, your, your, your conditioning is different. You get more stable. I had that. I done dealt with that already. I done had that too. So when you see somebody, oh, boy. No, oh, baby, don't take that. Just pray on it. You might need a fast and you might need a fast and pray. I'm just pointing up there. Imagine some people up there because I don't want to point it. Nobody out there heard nobody feel it. So I got some imaginary congregation over there too. Your point, it's going to be all right. You, you let them know it's, it's going to bring you to better things. Yes. I asked for riches that I might be happy. I was given poverty that I might be wise. Oh, but if I had been a rich chick, let me, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, I may not be the humble individual I am living right here in middle America. You may not have had the person that I am today if I was not here in the trenches. It doesn't smell that nice. But I can still see the glory in it. Yes, yes, I was asked for power that I might have acceptance from others. I was given weakness that I might feel need from God. I'm talking about me. Because I feel like I'm a superwoman and I can do anything. You better ask my husband. He like, come on, baby. I'm a man. I can, you, you got a husband now. I do it. <laughs> In the middle of the night, my back be spasming so bad from the do it yourself attitude that I be having. <laughs> Let me tell you, he made me weak. So I would see the need for God. Sure, he, it, he's not God, but God's in my way. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's why I'm his helpmate, but he also helps me. Yeah. So, as long as I'm saying I can do it all, why is he here? Yeah. That's just me. I convict myself on some things. Too. I'm working, he's working on me. Y'all pray for me now. Yeah. I ask for all things that I might enjoy life. I would give him life that I may enjoy all things. Yeah. You know, you think money would buy everything that you need and riches would just make you so, so, so happy. But let me be the one to tell you, rich people ain't that happy. When they behind closed doors, when them cameras ain't on them, they're not that happy. That's why Robin Williams and all, they're going and killing themselves. They're not happy. They don't have family. True family. Because see, if you call Pastor Joan, Pastor Joan might talk to you, tell you a good word, and she don't want nothing back from you. Uh -huh. But we, we are rich. But everybody that asks the rich people for something, they always got their hands out. So riches don't bring you that much happiness. Amen. 
a lot of rich people wish, wish that they were ordinary people just like us. I got nothing I asked for, but everything I had hoped for. Almost despite myself. I'm gonna tell y'all my, my true testimony one day, the whole thing. Despite myself, my unspoken prayers were answered. His commitment. You gotta be committed. Because yes. if you're not gonna be committed to it, you might as well not do it. Who wants anybody to do anything for them? All lack lackluster and not really want. Well, I guess I'll do it. I suppose. And oh, fine time. Oh. I guess I. I don't know. I, I suppose. I don't really feel like it, but since you asked me. You're not totally committed. You want to jump in and say, yes, I can do this and put everything you got into whatever it may be. Whether it's, it's planning something or, you know, just even serving the food.